Ever since the card rework, I've always looked for different ways of getting extra value. By doing the math, we can try to take a look at what is the best way to spend your CP and get the most value. Tainted Magic has been one of those cards that has been really on my radar and just from my gut has tremendous value. Now, does the math prove this on our newest hero, Wraith? He has a very great poke ability and just kind of sustained presence with six second knock knock ability. Can Tainted Magic pay off on Wraith? Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a Paragon Guide, I am Silphan. In this video we are taking a look at Tainted Magic and seeing if it makes sense on our Wraith. Now, Tainted Magic is a 7 CP universal card. You have 2 CP of power on the card, you have 1 CP of mana regen on the card, leaving an, a CP cost to you of 4 CP for that passive. Now, you could take the CP and spend it on another card and get it up a fully upgraded bonus. What this is called is an opportunity cost that is actually totals 5 CP for that passive. So, we're going to use 5 CP's worth of power to compare Tainted Magic against. Now, the passive part of Tainted Magic is enemies take 8% of their current health that they are at when this with passive goes off as damage over four seconds when struck by ability damage so whatever four percent of their current health is at that point is applied as damage over four seconds of course the more health the target has the more damage tainted magic is going to deal now when we analyze this card that five cp of power turns into 30 power. So 30 power is what we're dealing with here. Now, on his two damaging abilities, his basic attack and his knock-knock ability, 30 power is transformed into 30 damage or 5 DPS on his knock-knock ability if you were to use it constantly as a source of damage. 30 damage or 5 damage per second as it's spread out over 6 seconds. Yes, you can last hit and stuff like that. So that can increase. Now, 30 power on his basic attack, however, is transformed into 18 damage a shot or 15 DPS, not including attack speed or basic pen. Basic pen, the math is there to support it, and attack speed, absolutely. So, so consider that the 18 damage, um, the 18 damage doesn't change besides if you have basic pen. Um, or 15 DPS is changed with, with is, is enhanced from attack speed. Now the total potential damage or DPS that you are that you are losing by going for tainted magic that you could have otherwise gotten into power is a minimum 48 damage or 20 damage per second. That is our baseline, the lowest that 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 it could be to compare. Uh, what we are losing for going for Tainted Magic. Now, Tainted Magic is really hard to take a look at, so bear with me, hopefully this makes sense. Now we have to take a look at how much damage does Tainted Magic deal. Of course, it depends on the target's current health at the time that Tainted Magic is applied. Now, previous uh, version 41, Tainted Magic was an actual kind of 2% drain per second of their current health per tick. And I think that was changed with version 41 in that at the application of, of the damage, 8% of that amount was spread over 4 seconds. That was just that amount divided by 4, and that was the damage uh, uh, per those ticks. Now, with varying levels of health, we get... DPS. Now what I had to do in this DPS is spread that four seconds worth of damage over six seconds simply because Wraith can only use an ability every six seconds. Yes, you can last hit with, with your knock-knock ability, 
But then you last hit, so then it doesn't really matter, right? And you actually kind of waste Tainted Magic at that point. That is a consideration for later on. Now, when you spread over the 4 seconds of damage over 6 seconds, and do the math for that in that DPS department, we can get certain amounts of DPS. You can see that the more health we get, the more damage per second we can apply to the target through Tainted Magic and using our Knock Knock ability. As you can see, I've highlighted 20 here at 1500 health, as that is the break-even point between going for Tainted Magic instead of going for Power and having that damage from our basic attack and Knock Knock applied from that Power we could have gotten. So it looks like if you are basic attacking a target and, not, and using your Knock Knock ability on a target, you need to be attacking, or rather, Trader's Touch pays for itself when the target is 1500 health or more. This is quite interesting to me, as of course, when you go up to like a tank at 3000, even 3500 health, Tainted Magic obviously runs away with, with the damage potential, even considering your basic attacks. Remember, Wraith is kind of like a ranged fighter in his scaling. He's kind of like a Greystone. Scaling isn't 0.7 like a Greystone, but he's kind of like a ranged, a ranged fighter. He's very, very interesting. Now, in the last scenario, we were kind of considering his basic attack DPS and his knock-knock DPS and comparing that to the DPS of Tainted Magic. What Wraith also has a unique opportunity to do is poke heroes from afar with his knock-knock ability. Basically, just get poke damage like a caster. So, what is the total amount of damage then that can be done with Tainted Magic versus not having Tainted Magic? When we do the math here for varying, varying levels of health, we actually see that Tainted Magic pays for itself against a target of only 400 health. Because you can't basic attack, you're poking at, at, at range, or maybe you keep missing your basic attacks, that is a consideration as well. You can see that, that Tainted Magic pays for itself at a much lower health threshold. If you attack, say, a carry here at full health, you can see that you're doing tremendously more damage than you otherwise could have when just going for power on that knock-knock snipe ability. We even, especially against a, especially against a, a bruiser or a tank, you can see this damage is astronomical. Instead of going for tainted magic, you could have only have gotten 30 extra damage on your knock-knock. Instead, you went for tainted magic, and now you have 200 extra damage against a, 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 a like like a fight like a, a brawler here, 2500 health, or against a tank like a Severog here, crazy uh, health Severog, 240 damage instead of just 30. Obviously, tainted magic works great in this scenario as poke damage, but you have to consider if you're missing your basic attacks, tainted magic is a reliable source of damage. So, with all this said, what are some conclusions we can make about Tainted Magic on Wraith? Now, if constantly using your basic attacks and your knock-knock ability, Tainted Magic pays for itself against a 1500 health target. So, if you are landing your basic attacks because they get 0.6 power scaling and synergize well with attack speed, Tainted Magic really suffers in, in, in this regard because his basic attack still gets pretty good damage and DPS. So it, it, that is a consideration. Now if you are poking down an enemy out of basic attack range or you just are missing your basic attacks, remember that is a consideration, Tainted Magic profits on targets above 400 health. Now you can see there that is a pretty big difference. 1500 health or 400 health. Now, which one you choose to prioritize, which one you think is more realistic, I don't know. That is up to you. Now, Tainted Magic is reliable damage if you hit your Knock Knock ability. It is. 8% of their health is just going to be gone, just like that from hitting your Knock Knock ability. Basic attacks, however, are less reliable as we've been talking about. So, I will share my opinion about that in, my, in this last statement. Now against fighters and tanks, of course, 
tainted magic can have up to eight times as much value as power, depending on the engagement, of course, if, depending if you can basic attack consistently, etc., etc. Eight times as much damage. Obviously, it synergizes very well with heroes with more health. Now, I'm going to share my opinion here on tainted on tainted magic on Wraith, and that is the opportunity to poke, land a knock-knock ability on a target that's far away, following that up with maybe another knock-knock, or just going straight into your 6 to 8 second burst combo, a knock-knock into some basic attacks, follow it up with a back it up, follow it up with some more basic attacks into a, into a knock-knock to finish them off. This has tremendous value. I think that it that that is fantastic. You take a full health target, you snipe them from from range to get you know at least three hundred damage from your knock knock plus tainted magic on another a hundred to two hundred depending on the target that you're fighting. That's five hundred damage just gone like that. That takes a carry down to like eight nine on thousand health. Follow that up with another knock-knock into a couple of basic attacks, into a back it up, into a, some basic attacks, into a knock-knock. You can definitely pretty much take care of any hero. Of course, tanks and fighters you can have a little bit more issue with, but you can still do tremendous damage. In my opinion, the opportunity to poke and follow it up with a reliable 6-8 to eight second engagement on any target makes it worth it on Wraith, in my opinion. What do you guys think? Are you going to run Trader's Touch on on your Wraith? The poke potential is real. Yes, you are. Yes, you can last hit, but remember that it still is a big part of his kit that you need to be using all the time. He has very little mana regen um, or mana costs elsewhere. So when you consider that, he is a pseudo fighter caster, a ranged fighter caster, and I think. I think it's worth it personally. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Is there anything that I am forgetting? Any any little perspective that you could that that you maybe are aware of? Please let me know down in the comments as I would love to learn from you and have the community learn from you as well. Please like this video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, share the community, and of course, guys, subscribe. If you guys like this content, especially if you found it useful, please subscribe so I can do it for you in the future. If you would like to support me and what I do on a regular basis, please consider going over to my Patreon account where you can make a monthly pledge to support what I do and reap some pretty good rewards. Till next time, like always, guys, stay optimistic and positive.